the tenth through Abraham. Because when Melchizedek met Abraham, Levi was still in the body of his ancestors. I want to, to, to just have a, an elaboration of this. Nataka uwelewe hi. Because it is now what is making us to pray the next prayer. The people have said, this is Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 9 and 10. That one might even say that Levi, who was Levi? We will find out. Who collects the tenth? Paid the ten through Abraham. Why? Because when Melchizedek met Abraham, Levi was still in the body of the ancestors. Now, this is the power of what generation carries. Let us now understand this. Abraham bore who? Isaac. Isaac bore who? Jacob. Jacob bore who? Levi. Praise be to God. Because Levi uh, was one of the sons of Jacob. And Levites came from there. The priests. Makuhani wa mungu wanjoka kwa Levites. Lakini when Abraham paid the 10%, the tithe, to Melchizedek in Genesis, this can only be known for those people who read the Bible. Lakini mungu anasaidia kwa elezea kituwa. When Abraham met Melchizedek, this is in Genesis, when he was coming from the war, he gave the 10% of the panda from the war. And then Melchizedek blessed him. So the people have said, if this Levi, mtoto wa mtoto wa mtoto wa Abraham, because it was the fourth generation, they paid tithe through Abraham, and remember they were still in the bones of Abraham. So one act of one man of generosity. Praise be to Jesus. So what you are going to do today, the life that you live now, will determine the generation that will come after you. Hallelujah. So that means you have to be a man of prayer. You have to be a woman of prayer. You have to be a man of generosity. You have to be a loving man. Be a generous person. And that is what we are praying. For the generation to come. Hallelujah. Amen. If you are able to stand on your feet, kindly stand. Because this is a very important prayer. And I don't know why we are praying for our generations. I don't know. Maybe there are times that are coming, they are going to be worse than the times that we are living now. And if our children will not be able to be rooted in Christ, then it is going to be a troublesome. We are praying for the life that we are living now. This is now our own prayer. You will live a good life. You will live a generous life. Hallelujah. Amen. You will live a godly life. And by that through faith, it shall be transcended to your generation. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we thank you because you are so holy. Start praying. Start praying. Generation. That you are going to live right. That you are going to do what is right. That you are going to live a life of goodness. Father, we you. because you are doing great things. In me, I am living precious. Because the generation to come, I am doing great things. Father, we thank you. You are doing great things. Father, we thank you. Send 
Jesus Christ. I am ready. I am living with life. I am operating with love. I am operating with power by the name of Jesus. Through the grace of Jesus. That my generation is going to operate in that way. It is going to follow the path in the name of Jesus. My generation is chosen. Mighty God, you are grace. With me, operating in your presence, Holy Jesus, your presence is upon me. Everlasting God, you are the precious you are. You are the everlasting God. You are the God of all the ages. You are the God of all the creatures. Mighty Jesus, we are operating now within your presence, more of your presence, more of your power, more of your goodness, more of your love life. I am God, you are all creation, you are capacity, you are more you are tremendous things, you are changing lives, mighty God, through what I live, what I live, what I do, what I think, so what I am operating with, by your presence, by your grace, be the second day, yash, you see the top, save my second day, don't you see the top, God, I pray that you are kind to, that you are goodness, shall operate with you.
Sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, then think about such things. Think about what is right. Think about what is true. Think about what is pure. Don't let the other things to come in your mind. And this is what the Bible has told us. What is noble? What is praiseworthy? What is positive? Think about that. So just commit your mind to God this morning. Two minutes. Just commit your mind before God. Tell Him that you need to focus on what is right. Even when His word will be going on, you will focus on what is pure. You will focus on what is going to help you. You will focus on what is positive. You will focus on what is right. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father, help us to focus on what is right, on what is praiseworthy, on what is needed, on what should be there, on what my mind should focus upon, not on funny things, but on what is right. In the name of Jesus, God, I pray that I'm going to focus on what is positive, what is ahead of me, what is right, what is aligned with your will and purpose. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray that my mind is going to focus upon your love, focus upon your greatness, focus upon your goodness. In the name of Jesus, my mind will not go outside. My soul will focus upon you, God. Whatever is right, I will focus upon that. Whatever is making me grow, whatever is advancing me, whatever is uplifting me, that is what I'm focusing upon. That is what my mind is focused upon. That is what my mind is looking for. In the name of Jesus. By the grace and honor of your name. That cometh from you, Jesus. Lord, I pray. I pray that you're going to be interested in my soul. That you're going to follow my name of Jesus. That you're going to live in with your presence. I'm going to focus upon you. My mind is not going to go wild. I'm not going to wonder with things that are not right. In the name of Jesus, Father God, you are taking my time. I will focus on things above and not on things below. Because Father, you are transcending. You are transcending my soul. You are transcending my spirit. You are transcending my spirit. You are making me focus on what is right. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Because you are amazing. Father, I say, because you are doing amazing things. My mind is your own. My mind is your own. In the name of Jesus, we pray. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Karibu Mutungaji. wakati ulipo time na muda wa kuomba kutumie vizuri amen wakati hizi ni za mwisho ni nyakati ambazo zina shida na nafurahi kwa Mungu anaendelea kutufundulia mambo mengi ambayo yanahusu maisha yetu amen pamoja na yale ambayo tumeongozwa na ni ajabu sana na kuna neno ambayo sitaweza kukosa kuirudia ya kwamba tunaombea generations na tukaambiwa ya kwamba siri ambayo ni kubwa sana Ibrahim akatoa time akatoa kwa sababu ya generation to come 
alitoa wale alitolea walikuwa bado wangali kwa mwili hawakuwa wamezaliwa hiyo ni hadithi amba ni jambo kubwa sana na tunapoendelea nataka tu kwa sababu ya maisha yako sababu ya maisha ya jamii yako kwa sababu ya maisha haya tunaishi kwa sababu ya jambo ambalo liko katika taifa letu tunajua katika taifa letu mwaka huu ambayo tumeanza kuni mwezi wa nane kwa tunafanya uchaguzi mwezi wa nane sauti sijui kama tutasaidia amen na tunajua ni nini kitatokea katika uchaguzi ama huwa inatokea na unabii umeongea e, ume, umenenwa ni vizuri tujihadhari tukufikie kwa mzaha watu wengi husema Mungu atakuwa kwa control ndio God will be in control lakini ikiwa tutaomba amen, amen. Yeremia akaambiwa na Mungu ambia hawa wa Israeli nimewachukua mateka na mahali na wapeleka waombe kuwe na amani amen ni Mungu amewapeleka mateka lakini anawahimiza kuomba ili mahali watakapokuwa kuwe na amani sisi naye wakati huu ngali tuko na amani ya kuomba na kuwa katika uwepo wa Bwana na ningewazihi watu wa Mungu miezi ambayo imebaki ni michache sana ni michache sana ya kuwa na amani wakati uchaguzi utakaribia umebakia miezi kama minne hakutakuwa na amani maana moto utakuwa umewaka wa siasa watu wengi hawatapata nafasi nzuri za kuomba wakati hujaribu maana kwa kazi zako unaenda mapema lakini wakati huu ndio utaweza kujenga msingi utakao simama na ili kazi yako iweze kusimama ama maisha ya wakati ule ni wakati huu njoo mapema uitazidi uwe pamoja na Mungu kwa wakati uwe na wakati wewe na Mungu wako kwa sababu pale nyumbani shughuli huwa ni nyingi lakini hapo kwa malabahu utapata nafasi nzuri ya kuinteract na Mungu wako tulianza maombi saa mbili na dakika kama kumi na bado tunaendelea we umefika saa hizi kule mzingi utajenga utakusaidia huko mbele nataka tuendelee na awamu hii ya maombi na kuna maombi nataka uombe kwa sababu yako we mwenyewe na kizazi chako na familia yako na kazi yako na sasa hivi ninataka kutangaza tutangaze vita bwana asifiwe katika ufalme wa shetani amen tunatangaza natangaza vita haya maombi hauwezi kuomba umefunga macho hauwezi kupiga magoti hauwezi kulia ni vita tumetangaza na tunataka tulete chini we bring down the evil spirits ama the skins of the enemy unaweka chini mipango yote ambayo imepangwa na adui shetani kuhusu maisha yako kuhusu familia yako kuhusu kazi yako kuhusu wokovu wako amen sisi kama mnaelewa jameni tunaingia katika wazo katika bato tubomoe tuweke chini mizingi kazi yote na unisikilize vizuri tunaleta chini mipango yote ya shetani ama ya adui mipango yote katika maisha yako kuanzia wewe kuanzia wapofu watoto wako maisha yako afya yako bwana asifiwe na jamii yako na kazi yako tunabomoa hiyo mizingi yote tunaweka chini haleluya ya pili mipango yote ya adui kuhusu safari yako ya mbinguni amen kwa sababu haya yote yako na nitakuelezea ya tatu any gathering of satanic kongamano lolote la kishetani limekaa chini kuinukia kazi ya Mungu kuinukia mipango yako kuinukia familia yako iwe ni generational iwe ni enemy ambao tuko na wasi tuko na maenemy si watu wengi wanasikia vibaya unapoendelea tunaiweka chini leo kwa sababu tuko kwa madhabahu na hiyo nyingine kwa sababu ya magonjwa kwa sababu ya magonjwa ukisoma katika kitabu cha Danieli tisa aya 25 nasema Danieli alipoanza kuomba Mungu alimsikia siku ya kwanza lakini majibu ilikuja baada ya siku 21 kwa nini malaika aliyemtokezea alimwambia nilipotumwa kwako nilikutana na falme ya Midia ya Pasha 
na akanizuilia hadi wakati Mikael alipokuja na mimi nikatoka nikaleta ujumbe nikaacha ule ufalme na Mikael wakipigana bwana sivyo kuna baraka zako zimezuiliwa na mafalme ya, ya kule angani bwana sivyo pengine haujui lakini nataka kukuambia asubuhi hii ya leo unaenda kupigana hizo vita vizuri na unaenda kutoka katika hizo vifungo amen bwana asifiwe na hizi vita hawezi kupigana umeketi chini ni vita kwa sababu vita ni kupigana desoi bomoa kila kuta bomoa kila kitu chochote kinajiinua na hata kongamano kuna mwimbaji aliimba kitabu sana akasema ushamani wa shetani nado kwa maana shamani kimshimu nene maratu ambao wanaona marahi tokia kwa hivyo kongamano lolote la kishetani amen Liwe ni dunia hii ama ni angani ama ni wapi kwa sababu yako wewe na kwa sababu ya maisha yako ya uokovu na familia yako maana Mungu hatukutumba ili tutezeke si tuliambiwa hapa hati yetu ilikuwa na Mungu amen ni wakati wako sasa na ili tuweze kuingia katika hiyo hiyo maombi na nadhani hiyo ndio tutamalizia ili turudishe jioni atumalizie ninataka tuimbe tuingishwe na present worship Wimbe unasema sijaona kama wewe mumba wa bingu na na inchi. Tuimbe na uimbe kwa mawazo yako. Utaimba mahali tutakatishia. Nitawakatisha ili uweze kuingia katika vita na upigane kwa sababu ya maisha yako. Jambo lolote ambalo litajinua kinyume na mapenzi ya Mungu. Kinyume na vile unavyotamani familia yako iwe. Kinyume na ufalme, kinyume na mapenzi ya Mungu na wewe. Iweke chini kwa mamlaka maana Biblia inasema tumepewa mamlaka amen tuingie katika hilo father we thank you sijaona kama wewe baji wa mbingu na nchi oh yango ya kusifu Sipo 